Welcome back to another episode of Nimpulse Plays, where we are back with some more Metal Gear Solid P -P -P Peace Walker. Uh, where, if I recall, last we left off, we were at the Chrysalis Battle. Snake, the Peace Walker platform and AI have been shipped to the final testing base. Once assembled, it's only a matter of time before they launch the nukes. Hurry! Well, that sounds bad, I guess. It's a Metal Gear, what's the worst it could do? Stealth. And I'm not even sure any Metal Gears have been successful, historically. How's the horse doing? Not too bad. You'd never know he was over 20 years old. He was hers, after all. Seems like some part of her became a part of him. The platform and the cerebral AI are supposed to be assembled at an underground base disguised as a mine. If my guess is right, both of them have already arrived and are being readied for final testing. Destroying the platform will be difficult. I suggest getting up close and destroying the AI instead. Whatever you do, I'm begging you, don't let my Peace Walker launch a nuke. Hurry, Snake! That's exactly the same thing that Hal said about the Metal Gear Rex in Metal Gear Solid. If you think about Peace it. Walkers in a base due west of your current position. Move out. Did you know that all of the Metal Gear protagonists are in some way named after the game or reference to? In Metal Gear Solid, the main character's on? name is S Solid Snake. Uh, rise and shine. Uh, uh, in Metal Gear Solid 2, Sons of Liberty, Raiden is the son of the system, basically, and potentially George Sears. Hi, goodbye. Um, in Metal Gear Solid 3, Snake Eater, he, uh, the snake upon the boss is eaten by uh, a naked snake, thus becoming uh, a big boss. And in Metal Gear Solid 4, Guns of the Patriots, the Patriots have guns. Uh, and Old Snake, uh, it goes to show that the Patriots got too old and then died. There you go. Uh, Phantom Pain, you think it's Snake uh, and uh, uh, spoilers. It's not. anybody get, gets actually upset about that that game has been out for many years now you had your chance also it's way more complicated than you think it's a kojima game of course it's complicated by the way that was the mission so if you're ever looking for a nice quick one and done mission that progresses all of your uh mother base stuff try that one you can even do it badly like i did I get what they were doing with like the mission by mission stuff, and in Metal Gear Solid 5 I think it really does work with a hybrid style with the world map and missions, but it does it does make gameplay a bit choppy, and it feels like Kojima either consents to one or the other. You are either stopped every four seconds to do gameplay, or you are stopped every four seconds to do cutscenes. But you must be stopped. But in fairness, this was modelled more after the Monster Hunter games, which I guess were broken up like this by segments. So, you know, it could be worse. Damn it! You've been spotted by the guards. Take them out before they take you out. Uh, very well. Uh, I guess I'll go with my battle outfit for this. 
I mean... I don't want to use my well done rations. They're my monster fighting rations. Guess I'll equip this anyway, just in case. I don't think I'll need it though. Screw it. We'll go with what we have. I don't have a sniper rifle, so it might actually be a bit annoying to fight them, but I do have multiple rocket launchers and a bandana. My god, it's Peace Walker. Although, I think that's Zeke, isn't it? There goes the no alerts run. I don't think I've ever seen a speedrunner beat that, unless they skip the cutscene. Which a speedrunner probably would do, now I think about it. The, like, visor thing I have over my, uh, forehead kind of reminds me of the, um... There's no turning back now, Snake. Wipe out the enemy. Move on. Okay. Snipers will get a beat on you from a distance. They sure will. You can't see them, doesn't mean they're not there. One over there. One over there. And I hit none of them. Well, this is a bad time. Got him. That's going for me. What do you want? No, no, no. I have a bandana. You're not allowed to hit me. Yeah, okay. Right, who's the next guy? He's moving up. Not anymore. I think more come out. Can't remember where though. There it is. Oh, that would have been a perfect shot when they're on the ladder. Let me, back, let me control. There we go. Yeah, that's one problem solved. Uh, I'll be right with you. Bear with, bear with. God damn it. Let me play the game. Oh, let me reload. Wish this thing reloaded quicker. I guess the law does that. I should say the weapon, not the justice system. No. Well, that's right, I had to change the controls. I'm trying to play this on a DualSense controller, which my uh, recording software, we'll go with that, doesn't like it. So I've had to do some, some custom rebinding, which I think means it won't actually let me hot swap my items out. Oh no, there we go. Different button. I'm thinking of Twin Snakes. Hello, everyone. Alright, can I go in now? I swear to God, you better come out of this door. God. Alright, four left. It's pretty awkward because now I don't have a good, like, line of sight on them. Where'd the other two go? There they are. Where you going, buddy? And then one of them ran over here. Oh, that counts. 
All right, can I go in now? Is it here? I think it's here. I have to go down. Now, the real question is, how on earth does Snake get snuck up on by this? How does none of my codec team go? There appears to be an island-sized machine heading towards you. I mean, the door's next. The door next to me is open, isn't it? So how does this thing get out? It's not got any like jet thrusters or anything on it, so it's basically just dug itself into a hole. If I call an airstrike on this thing from Mother Base, it's done. Cool. Time to fight yet another Metal Gear. A C? I did kill everyone, that makes sense. My, my controller disconnected. This is not a fortuitous sign. Fine. Oh, I think my OBS started as well. Well, we're, we're back, I think. Snake, that's Huey's unmanned weapon, the cocoon. Put it out of commission. Will do, boss. Uh, yeah, I think we'll probably use this. The cocoon is, I think, probably the easiest fight in this game. It can, it can kill you, but, like, the ways to defeat it are pretty simple. It's just long. Not as long as Peace Walker on, like, Extreme or anything, but long nonetheless. Get rid of the cocoon. If anybody can handle something this big, it's you, boss. Oh, is it main story? So does it... I might as well just go for this, then. But I'm trying to get here quick. Whoop! Hey, see what I mean? You can die, but it doesn't have to be quickly, necessarily. Give me my bandana. Okay. This can really hurt you. <laughs> okay, the reason it does this is because it's about to ram. Come on, buddy, you gonna ram? Come on, buddy. What an ornament! There we go. I knew it did it, I just couldn't remember when. Oh, I know it did. I think it just launched this one as well, yeah. I will heal while I'm going. Alright, if I get on this. There we go. Your main cannon does nothing to me. I'm slightly below you. By the way, the amount of damage I'm doing to this thing, not normal. Like, this is because I've grinded on this game to get good weapons. Got a lock on you. Move it. 
That's fine. Alright. Wanna see a cool trick? Alright. Gatling gun's loaded. They're gonna crossfire. All you have to do, alright, if I can actually do it properly, is lie down in front of them like that, and they will shoot over your head. I'm happy to show you another time, because I have no fear of this. What do you mean, loot? You still add up? I'm already up here. Alright, to dodge these, just, uh, walk slightly away. Drops a good one. Alright. Probably this time. And then you can just stand up when they're over them. No fear. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So yeah, with like proper weapons and everything, this fight is absolutely no problem. Very much a grindable one. Right. If you do it like I did quickly though, and don't target anything in particular, you won't have many boards to pick from. Yeah, we didn't collect much from, from this one. We did get a tape, which is quite nice. Optional story. Um, but yeah, this is very much an easy one to farm. I hate fighting the flying one, Chrysalis. Or whatever, no, not Chrysalis. Pupu was the first one. Is it Chrysalis? I think so. Uh, I hate fighting that one just because it getting a lock on it is really annoying, but this is basically a big stationary object. Okay, now the door's unlocked. I mean, that's going to, like, a base, right? Somewhere? Wouldn't it be... We could ride that. It would take us right where we need to go. Mission complete. Hey, that's rank. My cassette from Strange Love, nice. Let's keep it going. Well, we got three missions down. Time to infiltrate. Peace Walker is in a hangar at the very bottom of the mine. Infiltrate the base and put a stop to the project by destroying Peace Walker's AI pod. For this, stealth. we can go back to stealthing. Uh, nah, I'm not going to bother with the analyzer. I think that'll be fine. Somehow, in every Metal Gear Solid game, when I've played through them, I've had to use one kind of dodgy controller. Whether it's stick drift, whether it's buttons not working. My hope with this controller is that it'll be fine. The only problem is that... The... I want to say, like, the Bluetooth doesn't seem to work on my PC, so... I have to play it wired, and I think the wire might now be broken, so it continues the trend awkwardly. We're under attack. 
saw me. Don't mind me, lads. You just gonna fire your gun forever, mate? Get used to fighting stuff and then suddenly that arrives. I'm trying to work out who saw me. I guess maybe the guy that was like around here. Just goes to show, I have a lot of Metal Gear content, but I am by no means good at Metal Gear games. I think you want like George Solonic or Jaguar King for, for that kind of stuff. I just talk about things. Probably things that they have also talked about, if I'm honest. Yeah, if you... Enemies close by. I forgot about you, because you're not here in the side ops. Enemy sighted. They'll never know I was here, depending on which direction they go. Taking down my smoke monster if anybody asks. They'll never believe him. There's some Stranger Things stuff right here. What is it? Perfect Stealth Mission 49 side ops. It has basically every, everybody in different places to where they are here, and I'm so used to it. There's a prisoner above me. Oh well. Maybe a little elbow grease will get those shutters open. Try tapping the action button as fast as you can. Nice snake. From here it's a straight shot to Peace Walker's hangar. Why was I just like this? Oh okay, I take damage. Why is that a minigame? Why why here? Why now? I think you use this and maybe only one one or two more times in fights with Metal Gears. Is it just that you can't run back this way, but the mission objective is there anyway? Weird mechanics. A sudden random QTE in a Metal Gear Solid game is pretty normal though, I guess. Initiate. Hmm. What's the situation? We're waiting on acknowledgement from Reptile. It could be a while. Don't take all night. Ah, Coltman. I'd like to perform one final check. Everyone, take a break. I Now's my chance. Now's your chance, Snake. See? Fallen, I sprinted to get in here. You're imagining things. Have you come to destroy me? Your pulse has quickened slightly. Just chilly. It's freezing in here. Oh yeah, I guess I it is air, air cold. Ice Boss. cold. What is it, Jack? Boss. Is that you? What is it, Jack? Do you have regrets? Regrets? About your final mission. My final mission? The one in Groznegrad. I've never been on a mission there. September 1964. You betrayed the United States. And then... I killed you. I have no record of such a debriefing. Listen to me. Basically, Snake's encounter with Chat GPT. To the Soviet Union of your own free will. There is no mission record matching that description. Wow. 
Jack, you're not the boss. The boss is dead. Don't do it, Jack. You're Drop an AI. No big boss. Mammal showed the same response back at the lab. It's a sure sign that you are nearby. It's an honor to meet you again, big boss. I've seen that coyote before. Hi, Hot Coldman. Lobo is the name. Lobo? Smells like a rotting corpse to me. <coughs> I Why didn't I dodge? Tulino Yarsk, ten years ago. You were involved. The operation to eliminate the traitor. I planned the whole thing. Shouldn't a suit like you be back in Langley? What the hell are you doing here? It's what the CIA does best. Ensure people in Mano keep their mouths shut, or else pack them off someplace where there's no one to listen. I get it. Trying to claw your way back into their good graces. It's not quite that simple. My aim is a new world order. Uh -huh. The NPT. Salt. TTBT. Ever since the Cuban Missile Crisis, the structure of the Cold War has been coming apart at the seams. A new age is dawning. Do you think voice actors An from Metal Gear Solid games are just told, don't worry about it, it doesn't make sense? A nuclear deterrent system with the patience and cold logic of a machine will play Maybe. a vital role. That's your plan. Assigning humanity's sins to a bunch of machines. <laughs> Quite the romantic. Remember the Cuban Missile Crisis, when the commander of a Russian sub refused an order to launch a nuclear-armed torpedo at an American destroyer? In retrospect, that man was a hero. He saved the world from all-out nuclear war. Humans are incapable of destroying themselves. But an AI wouldn't hesitate to push the button. Precisely. Making it the one real deterrent. Well, I mean, America did drop two atomic bombs on another Isn't country. Theory works if anything, they have proven that they are happy to destroy themselves Machines and others. Don't make mistakes. Only men do. That's why a fully automated, mechanized deterrent like Peace Walker is needed. Once our system is embraced, Langley will again turn its attention to Latin America as the cockpit of the new Cold War. Honduras, Nicaragua, Costa Rica, Panama. Peace Walker will be deployed along Central America's entire Caribbean coast. All of North America, South America, and the West Indies will be within its range. We'll bring law and order to the entire continent. And you'll still be calling the shots. <laughs> you still don't get it. The age of heroes is over, buried alongside the boss and her bankrupt beliefs. From now on, our only heroes will be machines. Surely no one understands Big AI advocate, you, Hawk Goldman. Except perhaps your partner. A deterrent for hire. An army without borders. You've invented a new system too, and an admirable one at that. That's supposed to be an offer. I'm not offering anything. If I'm to sell my new system, you and yours have got to go. Wait, Coldman. I have questions for him. Information critical to the completion of the mammal part. Give him to me. Hmm. Don't waste too much time. We've just received word that the Salt Two Talks are on schedule. We will launch. There's on always time. some kind of Salt Snake. Talks around the Metal Gear games. Shut up! The boss is dead. Bring him. Oh my god. I forgot about this. Oh my god, I'm getting it so bad. I technically only have one chance at this as well. Forgot all about this until it started happening.
Nice ID card. I think I'll take it. <laughs> take him away. I'm surprised I did that all in one go. It felt quite quite generous. Sadly, I don't know because I've already done this mission once for my main playthrough. I don't know if it actually counts now if I go into the next one. Because it might be like, well, you didn't get it originally, so it doesn't count. Uh, we have no money. And where there's no money, there's no weapons. Snake, I hope you can hear me. Word is you've been captured by Strangelove. I'm guessing they confiscated your gear. But I know you've still got something left. Search your memory, Snake. The cigarettes I hid in my stomach. Yeah, so I don't know what's going to happen. It might just assume that I failed. Oh, I think this is also another QTE. I'm loyal to the end, to my purpose. What about you, Jack? What's it going to be? Loyalty to your country or loyalty to me? Your country or your old mentor? Your mission or your beliefs? Your I wonder if they got Laurie Allen to come back and re-record this or whether they just used the, the Metal Gear Solid 3 takes. Even with absolute certainty is the mission, Jack. <laughs> Rise and shine. Oh, look at me, I'm flying. Coldman's greed does not concern me. I'm only interested in one thing. The truth. What? I'm what? A Why do you have sparklers? AI developer, but not an AI myself. I'm a scientist, and as a scientist, I find this distasteful. You understand? I am a scientist, and I expect answers. I am sense. a surgeon. I am a surgeon. Now, what do you know? Some of you might get a reference, some of you might not. Your boss defected from the US, taking a Davy Crockett with her, and used it to launch a nuclear strike on Soviet territory. That much I know from the CIA's official debriefing. Did she defect or not? Answer me! Did she or did she not die for her country? In fact, same uh, voice actor as uh, Olga Golukovic. Can't remember if I said that fact she before, but out. here you are. My orders were to take care of her. Liar! I want to know the truth. Brace yourself. In a good way or a bad way? Are we gonna kiss? All right, David. To record this audio, I'm gonna need you to gargle on some very hot soup. <laughs> it doesn't change the fact that I killed her. I know that. But what I don't know is your motive. My motive is I did it because I was told to. What really happened? What did you see? She betrayed more than just her country. She betrayed me too. Then how do you explain that bandana? Why keep a memento of a traitor? What are you talking about? It looks cool. And what about that scar? Don't tell me you have the same scars by sheer coincidence. I've Don't been shot at face. a lot. Hmm. Decorating your body with her memory. Rather effeminate, if you ask me. <laughs> Answer me! <laughs> uh oh. Get back to that soup, David. <laughs> I really do wonder how we recorded this scene. Whether it's one voice clip just looped over and over, or whether literally he just went, David, we're going to need about a minute and a half of just dying. Stop punching me. I do hate you. But even you must understand how I feel. 
I have a right to know yes, what you had a massive for. crush on the boss. Why won't you tell me? So did I. You're no longer As it turns out, only one of us was there, though. You have no moral obligation to your country. Answer me! Would you see your beloved boss brought back to life? I'd probably have to kill her again, then so say no. It. Say she died for America. That she remained true to the end. Gave her life for the country that betrayed her time and again. No. That woman was a traitor. Why? For what purpose? Listen, we're still trying to work it out. Like, the law is very difficult. Why? Who is it? What are you protecting? I'm not helping you finish that thing. Face it. The boss is dead. Whatever's inside that machine, it isn't her. I'm raising the voltage. The next one might kill you! <laughs> Alright, David, I'm gonna need you to now pretend that the soup is acid. But you're really thirsty, so you keep going back to it. This is David Hater recording for Donald Duck. Why? Why not just give up? Because I was raised to believe that the bandana is cooler than the stealth. Is that you, Johnny, too? Get in there. Why do we wear sunglasses? Do I have the ID card? I do! Don't be getting any ideas. I would never, sir. I would never. Nice. The enemy's here. No, I'm not. I think you might get back up. Better. Do you get turn around? Yeah. Do I still have the ID card? No, apparently I used it. This is such like a, P a PSP level. Large blocky rooms. Goodbye! And that's the benefit of getting the ID card. Otherwise you have to do a thing where you have to saw the bars, kind of. It's weird. But that's what the scar is on your chest. It is actually like filament wire that you used to get out. Not me, though. I passed the minigame. Snake? Yeah? It's good to hear your voice again. <coughs> Sorry. Hey, you okay? Yeah. My lungs taste like charcoal. No smoking for you for a while, huh? No, I'm gonna keep snow smoking. Fine. I better get moving. Nice work. What's the situation? Literally all, all of the snakes, I think, smoke at some point until they die. I don't know if Solid has smoked. I don't know if we ever see him with a... Maybe we see him with a cigar at one point?
time, it's really our last chance. Destroy that AI. On my way. I am naked and have just been tortured. Give me at least 20 minutes. Snake, Peace Walker is being prepped for activation in the hangar at the bottom of the base. Get in there and destroy the AI before it's activated. Have I got my equipment back? No, I guess I have. I was gonna say this is this is isn't a trank sniper rifle. If I shot somebody with that, they would die. Time's right. running short. Get over to Peace Walker's hangar now. So I think this is where it's based on Mission 49 for the side ops. Because there's usually a prisoner up there, and you go down this level, and there's another prisoner. Hide until the, the whole elevator thing. arrives. Don't let anyone detect you. Hey, buddy. Are you gonna kick you guy? I'll take the opportunity to leave. Did I seriously come all the way down here, do this trip, get tortured and beat up, and then run back? And Kaz is like, okay, but now just don't get captured and do your job this time. It's pretty brutal, if you ask me. Prisoner somewhere. What was that? What is it? Absolutely nothing, wait, mate. Don't wouldn't worry about it. I'm not gonna bother picking up anybody from here because I don't think they've got any good skills for me. But yeah, I guess this game does reuse a lot of the levels. Enemy assault. Someone's firing at us. Going to alert status. Understood. Maintain heightened alert. Who's that? Enemy assault. You saw nothing, mate. You also saw nothing. No, no, no. Okay, fair enough. You win. You win that one, mate. Stop shield shield bashing me. Ow! I'm just trying to get behind you. For some reason, it throws my character a different way. Alright, fair enough, you win this one. Alright, you guys over here about shooting somebody while they're down? Not very sportsmanlike. Alright, goodbye. As far as I'm concerned, I don't even exist. I'm like a ghost. I'm a ghost with, with now hearing issues. Goodbye. I could have done that probably a bit quieter. Too late, Big Boss. Snake! Boss. Why do we call him I Big Boss? Her, the culprit who led you here to begin with. Should have taken care of her back at the supply facility. Snake, don't! The mammal pod is finished. Peace Walker's activation sequence is complete. Finished. Complete. With the boss, like a you were loyal to the end. I'll grant you that. But your silence was exactly the answer I needed. Ten years ago, your mission was to kill her. And her mission was to be killed by you. She fulfilled her duty she took it pretty to well. America to the very end. 
Thanks to you, Snake. The final missing piece is now in place. And thus, the boss is restored to life as the mammal part. I thank you. Restored to life? You're crazy! I'll let you in Am on I? a little secret. Yes. Boss. You see, I've already selected Peace Walker's initial target. An offshore area in the Caribbean. The trade winds will scatter the fallout all over the surrounding region. Crops and fish will die, leaving plenty of free hands to help us mass produce Peace Walker. Oh, and wouldn't you know, someone's gone and built a pesky little fortress there. Now who would do that? And right in the middle of the target zone too. <laughs> oh well. All the better to test the warhead CEP. You bastard. No, not the CEP. I wonder who will miss a ragtag band of pirates all the way out in the middle of the Caribbean. But first, we're going to prove to the White House you should probably that just shoot Snake. can travel the Caribbean coast on its own. You have a two in three chance of hitting the somebody that, you know, is currently know adversarial to you. Versatility. Worst case, fire twice. ...that can penetrate both communist and guerrilla controlled territory, traverse any kind of terrain, and deliver a nuke anywhere it needs to go. Untouchable. Unstoppable. The perfect deterrent. The Cold War's days are numbered. Deterrence isn't only about America and Russia now. You know what? You're absolutely right. While we've been wringing our hands, China, France, even India have surpassed us. There's Everybody a free-for-all nuclear arms race brewing just below the surface. The nuclear threat will only spread, which is exactly why we must deter it here and now. And the Peace Walker Project is the key. The advent of Peace Walker will bring calm to this restless world. Don't you see, Snake? We need nukes, controlled nukes, to have peace. Lies! Peace Walker will restore order. Order in the form of a new Cold War. But if the world is to understand the genius of our plan, we must launch. Ah, spoken like every true psychotic. People don't understand me, so I'm gonna do something incredibly bad so they understand. Wow, I managed to outclimb this thing that was being actively lifted. Snake's quick. Walker failed deadly AI controlled walking tech. Snake, you stopped it from doing the nuke thing and started it from doing the destroy you thing. Got a flamethrower wang. The ultimate metal gear. If anyone that can shoot fire from its down under. Yeah, 
how many more missions there are. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 missions. Not bad, not bad. Uh, boop. Peace Walker's active, and its self-defense system is targeting you, Snake. You better find a way to stop it quick. Oh, I'll stop it. <laughs> did you see what I did to the other one? Combat. It's not gonna not stand a chance. Snake, may I suggest you dodge? All right, just do one of these, followed by one of these. I can't remember, I haven't done this fight in a while. I should do the others. Okay. Me. I should do all the other fights. Not S mines. Sometimes musical steam moments where I'm like, oh yeah, these are the people, same people that did the bouncer. Almost. I guess I'm a square and it's a not Konami Kojima, but there's certainly stings in there where I'm like, that feels that feels bouncer-esque. Kojima, why must all of your machines be draw in some way? No, 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 no. I did it. Easy peasy. Makes like, man, I just shot it a bunch with my M fourteen. Also, this thing has a nuke on it? feel like I won. They really do not want Snake to move in any cutscene. Got extra legs. It's gone into dog formation. What we had we've had two versions of Rex, both a Metal Gear and a Monster. We've had a Ray. I'm trying to work out what like the manta ray? So it doesn't really look like a ray, although it does have a tail. Snake, it's getting away. 
We had Sihalanthropus, which was basically just what if what if person were Metal Gear. That horse has good timing. It's like the Red Dead Redemption horse. And unlike the Skyrim horse. with a missile. Trust me, we'll solve a lot of problems. Go! Oh my god, I forgot about this. Well, I'm definitely keeping in a uh, range. Basically forcing you to keep up or you die. Snake, do a duck mini game. Now a jump mini game. Oh my god, I was kidding. PSP, no less. Well, that's not good. Just about range. Spots, basically. Just about. Alright, rule three, that should be it. No, I guess not. Oh, my finger hurts. Approaching the border. Oh, and now, now this is the Skyrim horse. Hang in there. that same voice file for when he fires the machine gun too much. Oh no, my horse. Walker's gone. They've got Paz too. Yeah, but why, Kaz? What would Coldman want with Paz? Paz was with the professor, i.e., the KGB. Once Coldman discovered that, he figured out what was really going on between Paz and Galvez. He's trying to figure out how the KGB planned to stop Peace Walker, and he thinks he can get the info from Paz. That's crazy. Paz won't know anything. Yeah. Unless. He probably doesn't buy that. You think Galvez has already been killed? 
By grabbing Pass, Coldman's saying, Stay out of this, or lose your client. Damn it! I can't believe we didn't realize what was going on before we lost contact with Pass. Don't have time for that, Kaz. Snake. Pass needs our help. Right. This isn't about money anymore. You better move. We know where they're headed. Yeah. You can thank Amanda. Snake, that river you chased the Basilisco across is the Rio San Juan. The other side is our country. I had some Nicaraguan compas track it there. They're focused from the GPP faction. <laughs> so we don't the GPP. work together so much. Where'd it go? West, along the border, towards Lago Cosibolca. There's a U.S. military supply base on the southeastern shore of the lake. Ever since that earthquake two years ago, America's had the entire region to itself. That is where the Basilisco is. I'm sure of it. Lago Cosibolca. How do I get across the border? There is a route that we use to cross. It's just a little boat, but I can introduce you to the captain. Who's the captain? I appreciate it. It's we Chico. I refuse. At the mercy of someone like William Walker again. Snake, Coldman's going to launch the nuke from that base. He's targeting MSF. Based on what Huey's told us, it'll take two more days to prep for launch. But it looks like there's another reason they picked that date. What's that? Tomorrow sold two negotiations. The U.S. Soviet summit in Vladivostok. The launch is probably connected somehow. That's right. They're holding the salt to See? Talks. Told you. You think Coleman's trying to disrupt the negotiations? Hmm. Either that, or use it as a bargaining chip. He's still got Paz, too. At any rate, we're running out of time. I'll figure something out. You better, Snake. Because guess what? We'll find out if we do figure something out in the next one. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all later. Bye for now.